welcome everyone to this session uh, in this session we are going to talk about jsps jsp stands for uh, java server pages and the prerequisites for this session is uh, you should have some understanding of html java and servlets so because a lot of the uh, things we are going to talk in this session wouldn't make uh, sense if you do not know any of these technologies so i suggest you to go through those first if you are directly coming on to jsps okay so this is the agenda for our session uh, we'll start off with some introduction uh, where we'll see what what a jsp is and where it comes into the picture of the whole mvc architecture and some of the building blocks of jsps then moving forward we'll see what the different jsp elements are and uh, how do you use it and what are its uses then implicit objects what are the different implicit objects we have in jsps and uh, what is the scope of those objects and what it is used for tag libraries is one of the important concepts in jsps we'll see how do you use tag libraries in your application and how can you build your own tag libraries and ultimately you see that how uh, making use of tag libraries your um, program development will be become so much simpler and easy right and uh, we will see what the different the jsp actions are and uh, how you do error handling in jsps and in the end we'll have a demo okay one thing before we start off in the servlet tutorial we've talked about a lot of concepts right and all those concepts do apply to jsps as well if not all most of those concepts do apply to jsps as well right so here in this tutorial we would be putting more emphasis on the concepts which we have already discussed in servlets in fact we are going to browse through them quickly and put more focus on the jsp specific behavior and concepts right so for that reasons i suggest you to go through the servlet tutorial first before directly coming to jsp here right all right so what is jsp jsp stands for java server pages we already said that and it is used to present dynamic content to the users right so here again we are trying to say the same thing even in the servlet tutorial we said that servlets is used to present dynamic content to the users and we told that uh, if you want to present static content to a user you use html and when you want to have dynamic content you go for servlets here again in jsp is we are telling the same thing it is used to present dynamic content to the users so what is the difference between servlets and jsps are both the same so basically even though both are used to present dynamic content their job is different right servlets is used for business logic processing whereas jsps are used for presentation logic processing right and in which context am i talking all this about i'm talking this in the context of an mvc architecture right mvc is a very famous architecture uh, which stands for model view controller right where each component has got its own job to do right? the model component is responsible to communicate with the database or and fetch the data or information from the database and make it available to the application to be used the view component is responsible for presenting the page to the user or presenting the response to the end user in a very beautiful and neat format so we visit a lot of websites every day and we see that the ui looks so good and pretty right so all those credit goes to the view component which makes it so beautiful and jsp can be used as the view component here and it is a very strongly used uh, view component and the c part is the controller so basically the controller controls the whole application flow right so whenever a request comes into the application the request is grabbed by the controller and it's the controller is going to decide based on the request to which helper object should it make use of and it's going to decide which view object it is going to make use of and send the response back to the user Right. So basically, the controller intercepts all requests and it controls the whole flow of the application. Right? Okay. 
So let's take a real time example of how the flow takes place in a web application with servlets and JSPs in place. So, okay. so the user sends in the request and we know that the web container or the servlet container is the interface between your end user and the application. Right. So the request goes to the controller container sorry and the the container will again send the request to the servlet. So basically the servlet is the place where you write your business logic. Right. And in fact the servlet will make use of certain other helper objects to complete its business logic processing. Okay. And let's say that this helper object is talking to the business tier to execute certain statements, right? Execute certain business logic. And it gets back to the servlet and uh, the data is populated into some bean or some intermediate object in within the application and the control is passed to the JSPs. So the JSP here is representing the presentation layer, right? And we put in all the presentation logic within the JSP. So basically JSP is nothing but HTML right? with some amount of Java code in it. right? So this acts as a presentation layer where you write your HTML with some dynamic code where you add your Java. right? So that's the reason it's used to present dynamic content. And once JSP does all its processing, it sends back the response to the container which will again send back the response to the end user. Right? So this is how your control flows in an application, in a web application with both servlets and JSPs in the picture. Right? And this is the role that is played by the servlet and the JSP. So basically the role of servlet is to take the request and perform all the business logic processing and send the request to the serve JSPs which will take care of the presentation logic and send back the response to the user.